Welcome Aries and cross watchers. This is your general love reading. Aries, I feel like there was a couple here. They could have been married, could have been just uh, together for a long time, but that was severed by somebody meeting their true match. So stick around, let's see where this goes. Aries, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs, get into your reading, and then get you some oracle cards for clarification. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity and guidance for Aries. What's the energy for Aries, please? Ooh, you got that Knight of Wands and Strength. So you're rushing towards something with strength, or you need the strength to rush towards something. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, give me the energy of all 12 signs around Aries, starting with Aries. So if you're dealing with another Aries, someone is very up in their head about somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone's trying to look at something from a different mindset so they get a victory. If you're dealing with a Gemini. Someone's making a head over heart decision about a two of cups, so their true person. And if you're dealing with a cancer, nine of pentacles, very, uh, very solid, stable, um, single, moving on. So you're moving on single, cancer. Moving on, moving forward, single. You're dealing with a Leo. So somebody's wish fulfillment is either an option It's either an option, illusion, confusion, or daydreaming. I feel like someone's either daydreaming about their wish fulfillment or their op an option is their wish fulfillment. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo wants to speak a truth. He's trying to make a decision to speak a truth. If you're, de I say he, but I, Virgo is trying to make a decision, okay, to speak a truth. If you're dealing with a Libra, you have the four of wands, which is about a relationship, a foundation, a celebration, but somebody's hiding something. There's secrets in this foundation. There's secrets in this relationship. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, seven of wands, someone's blocking a king of swords, uh, could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So somebody is blocking a king of swords. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Someone's trying to master their emotions about a family situation. You're dealing with a Capricorn. Resting and recovering from somebody's mind games. You're dealing with an Aquarius. Someone's obsessed with a new beginning in love. And if you're dealing with a Pisces. So Queen of Pentacles, Empress. So I feel like this is a new beginning of a foundation, something solid, stable, dependable. Um, I feel this with this new beginning, there could be um, an ex that's pregnant or the wife is pregnant. Um, take it out resonates with you, but you know there's a pregnancy here. There could be a pregnancy here with Pisces. You're dealing with an Aries. So Aries, your energy is you're wanting to rush in or you're needing strength to rush in knight of wands knight of wands speaks of somebody's there for a good time not a long time or somebody who's rushing in and out so i feel like that strength could be that you need strength because somebody was a player um with that energy as well so take it how it resonates with you so let's get into your reading aries holy holy spirit angel spirits and guides Clarity and guidance for Aries, please. Now, Aries, are you having trouble speaking to somebody? Because I'm try I was trying to get words out and I just drew a blank. So I feel like there's something that's trying to block you from communication uh, right off the bat. That's what I'm feeling. My energy's picking up. Um, let's get into this reading and find out what's going on. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. Aries, okay, with that Queen of Pentacles again, um, and Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be somebody 
um, that is very solid, stable, dependable, grounded. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it could be an ex-wife or an, a wife. Uh, but there's something that's been around for the, a long time, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, again, with that Empress energy. So there could be a pregnancy and a new beginning of love and abundance. So there, the, the, the Empress speaks of not only is she the divine feminine, but she speaks of new beginnings, creation, pregnancy. She could be all of those things. And a new beginning here uh, with the Ace of Pentacles of love and abundance. Uh, soulmate energy with that lover's card and um, the world card and ending. So there could have been a choice between two or a soulmate and something that's ended so something new can begin. Yeah, somebody resting and recovering in a family situation. Someone may be manifesting an apology. Walking away from a relationship. Okay, so this possibly could have been Let's let's go back over this then with this queen of pentacles. This could be you're married to this person, possibly. Um, and then you have an empress. You have two separate people, two separate women, because the lovers is here. A choice between two. OK, so you may have been with this queen of pentacles a very long time, but then you had a new beginning with this empress. OK, and there was a choice and something's ended. So something new can begin so you may have ended this relationship for this relationship okay so because somebody's resting and recovering from a family situation i feel like that's this queen of pentacles here and then there's an offer of an apology so manifesting an apology but walking away from the relationship so somebody wants acknowledgement for some pain that was caused that's what i'm feeling like they're wanting they're wanting an apology they're manifesting this apology justice king of wands there you are aries um somebody's getting some justice here um, for a new passionate beginning not speaking using your intuition about something that was long-term and committed it caused a tower to fall wow aries i feel like wow you have you've made a head over heart decision to cut something out with that two of swords Let's clarify this with another deck. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know about this situation, please? What does Aries need to know? So Aries, I feel like you're this king of wands here. You want justice. Um, justice, king of wands for a new passionate beginning. So. Are you the one that's manifesting an apology? Because I have this Queen of Pentacles over here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? It's been around for a long time, okay? King of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys were married to this person. King is the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles. So this is a, a married couple. They may have been married for a long time. So um, so that stability, it's a long time for a new beginning of love. So something happened here. With that Knight of Pentacles, that's the slowest moving knight in the deck. And you, you're, what's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. So for the longest time, you wanted a new beginning in love. Empress energy, what's the Empress? There's some betrayal. Somebody betrayed somebody with the Empress, okay? Somebody betray betrayed somebody with the Empress to have a new beginning of equal give and take. With this lover's card, I feel like there was a choice between two and somebody saw it. Somebody saw this. They were watching this. They saw this, okay? And so it ended, but they waited to end it. They waited to end it to start something new. And so over here, you have somebody who is resting and recovering from the burdens of a family situation that's now out in the cold. Okay, page of Pentacles, that's an apology or an offer, but they want and they want an apology for somebody playing mind games, wanting to win at all costs. 
the, the fighting, the, the conflict, the arguments. They're manifesting. They manifested that ending. They wanted to close out that cycle. They wanted that to end. You got the world card here twice. So they're manifesting this to end so something new can begin. I feel like they wanted out of it. And so somebody's walking away, obsessed with walking away, okay, uh, from a relationship to go towards this empress. Because of a relationship, they're walking away. Someone's obsessed with walking away because of the relationship with the empress. Now, to clarify this, justice, the king of wands, for a new passionate beginning. And this is not a beautiful card. That's an absolutely gorgeous card. So wanting to offer that love, being very strategic, not showing emotion, but being divinely guided. Okay, you know, the the uh, king of wands for me as a reader is the emperor in a lower vibration. So he is figured out who his true person is with this empress relationship. Okay. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. For Aries, please. Not speaking about something that was long-term and committed causes this tower moment. So maybe the Empress wasn't aware that he was married. Because I don't, not speaking, there's there's something hidden. So hiding the fact that they were married, married, I feel like he may have hidden the fact that he was married. And it caused the tower moment. And someone's moving forward, working on recovering from some strife, jealousy, and competition in something that was long-term and committed. You can't make that up. So something's telling me here that Aries, if this was you, and you're the emperor in this case, you didn't tell the empress that you were married. So not speaking about something long-term and committed, uh, something hidden about something long-term and committed, okay? Moving forward, working on recovering from all the strife, jealousy, and competition, from the marriage. Of course you are. Under the bottom of the deck, someone's happy in a new passionate beginning. So I guess for a long time, there was something that was hidden that they need to speak about. But somebody's very strategic about and very unhappy and very guarded, causing a tower, which ends. Okay, so of course this, of course the person that you're leaving behind is angry. Of course they are. Because there was strife, jealousy, and competition with the marriage. Because you didn't tell this other person that you were involved with somebody. And now you're waiting for your happiness in a new passionate beginning. Okay. Or, or this, was, this was over here. Sorry. Okay. So happy in a new passionate beginning. Okay. But for a long time, there was the moon card. There were secrets. There were illusions. There were something that was hidden. Now. If you are a twin flame, I only say this because I'm a twin flame. And, uh, you know, I feel like the, the lessons that I learned because this is sp such spiritual warfare, it's good against evil. You will deal with people who do magic. There will be a lot of nonsense going on and that it brings you to a higher level of understanding. It really just does. But illusions, I feel like secrets and illusions here for a long time. So maybe this person felt like um, he had to escape and the only way he could to, to be towards his true person was to not speak of it. But I'm not excusing it, okay? I'm just saying he should have handled it. But there was an argument here. It's a passionate communication with the Queen of Swords. Now, when you're fighting with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords has a knife in her hand, okay? She's not playing games, okay? She's she's going to, you know, cut your juggler vein. <laughs> she's just going to take you out. So having an argument with this person and someone's very unhappy, they're discontent, okay? And very guarded and defensive. It's causing this tower moment and things will come to a like a halt. It comes to an end. It comes to an end. So let's get you some oracle cards and see where we are with this. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know, please? Third party. 
no, the answer is no, no healing because of a third party. There's a karmic. Okay, so there's no healing with the karmic because of a third party situation. Okay, there's no healing there. So they're saying refocus that energy. Um, and then the answer is yes to understanding and, and getting clarity. So there is a third party situation. And unfortunately, in this instance, the third party was the empress, okay? And no healing with this karmic. There's no healing with this karmic because of a third party. And they're saying refocus, yes, and you will have the understanding that you need. So I feel like there is an offer here. You're raising your vibration for a union here and a commitment. So you're going to let go of, I feel like you're letting go of the karmic and you're you're becoming very committed to your true person. So. Um, let's see what else we have. Okay, so closure. Talents. So somebody had some spiritual talents like psychic, clairaudient, clairvoyant, whatever it is. That's a psychic talent. That, I mean, that's a talent that has to do with the spiritual side of a person. Uh, but there's some closures here. And they're saying lighten the load. Let go of things that don't serve you um, for a family situation. Under the bottom, well-being and truth and trust and peace will transform justice. Okay? So I feel like for you, you're really going to transform this, whatever this has been for you. And I don't think that you've been happy in this situation at all, Aries. If you're the person who was the, the person who went towards the empress, you could be the third party. You could be the empress here. You could be the husband or you could be the wife. It's not specific about it. It does say that the king of wands is getting justice and the king of wands would be the king of pentacles to me. So um, take it how it resonates with you because it's, it's either a husband or a wife. One of them dipped out. But there's going to be some closure and you do have spirit talents. I feel like you're going to become aware of your talents. Um, they're saying lighten, lighten the load, let things go that don't serve you. There is a family situation here um, that you're it's going to be healthy. There's going to be truth and trust and peace. So it's going to be transformed with justice. So what's going to transform it? A divorce, possibly. Um, you know, I don't feel like there's a big get even here or anything. I feel like what the justice is, is it either getting married or divorce or getting divorced and then married. So let's get some more cards for you. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries. Get some of these decks out of the way. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, what does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Message of casual dating up in the air. Things were up in the air and you're going round and round about things. Rendezvous. <laughs> Leather lace bound. Okay, so this may have been when you were hooking up with the, uh, it's all up in, up in smoke because there's a perfect match. Okay, so I feel like this is just telling you that I don't think that you were happy in your, your marriage. And I feel like this isn't the first time you've dipped out on somebody, to be honest with you, because there was casual dating and a lot of messaging back and forth to one another. Um, and you were up in the air about whatever this was, and you went round and round about it. So you were up in the air about leaving one to go to the next, and you were round and round in your head about it. Uh, but there were rendezvous. So you kept meeting and hooking up with the person that you may have left your person, your wife for or husband for, okay? Um, lust bound and leather. So I feel like you felt very strong about the passion there between the two of you. Uh, but I feel like up in smoke, something went up in smoke and I feel like that was the marriage because you had met your true match. I feel like that's what this is. 
So Aries, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.